Hey everyone, I'm Jada Kelly. Today we're just gonna go through a standing stretch sequence that should feel so good to your body. So we'll start really simple and just prepare ourselves for this stretch. I like to put one hand on my chest, one hand on my belly, close my eyes and just start with a couple deep breaths. Ready? Let's do it together. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And nice slow exhale. So good. All right, just let your arms hang. Feet are about shoulder width apart, knees are soft. We're just gonna start stretching through that neck. Go ahead and lean your head to one side. If you wanna place your hand on top of your head, if you're not pulling it, you're just gonna set it there and let gravity do its job. And you're just gonna feel the rest of your muscles just relax. Awesome, other side. Just breathing still. We're gonna keep that deep breathing throughout this routine. One more time. I'm just gonna let my head fall to one side. I'm not gonna use my hands this time. And other side. Great, now just an easy back and forth, releasing that stress through the neck. If you find your shoulders creeping up, I want you to push them down and continue that movement. Give me two more. Awesome. Stay loose through that neck. Pull your belly button to your spine. So this whole time you're being aware of your body and your core. All right, bring those shoulders forward, then up, back, and down. Good, big circle, forward, up, back, down, good. Now, I want you to just fill your mind with things that you're thankful for right now. So, we are not thinking about work or other stressors. You're only filling your mind with things that bring you peace, bring you joy. Awesome, now rotate the other direction. So now we're going forward, down, back and up. Just relax into this. We're not asking ourselves, when is this gonna be over? No, we're just saying, oh, this is wonderful. I'm taking this time to be present in the moment. I'm taking this time to show some love to my joints. Back, up, in, down. Awesome, now I'm gonna take one side. This is my right hand. I'm gonna come up, moving through my shoulder like I'm slicing through water, shifting my thumb toward the back and then trying to make a huge circle through my shoulder. My, um, the back of my hand comes to my thigh and then I reverse the motion. Now try to keep you, your uh, torso right in the center so I'm not twisting my torso, I'm only moving through my shoulder. Trying to keep my elbow extended and I'm gonna get one more. This feels so good. You might hear some cracking through your shoulder and that's okay, I crack a little bit too. You don't wanna feel pain though. You wanna move around the pain if you feel any pain. Awesome, other side, here we go. Deep breath in, thumb shifts to the back, back of the hand hits the thigh and reverse. So good. Remember, we're relaxing into this routine. We're not rushing. We're continuing to breathe. And we have one more on this side. Awesome, and come all the way back. Yes, that feels so good. All right, so hands are on your thighs. You're gonna push out and then cave in. So I'm moving through my torso forward and back, rib cage comes to the front, and then you tuck it in like you're hiding it. <laughs> Push it out, tuck it in. Good, feeling that spine round, 
and then arch. Two more. Awesome, now I just want you to move side to side through your torso though. I'm shifting through my torso. Sometimes it helps if I put my hands up and shift side to side. Or you can keep your hands right here at your hips. Three more. Two and one. So good. All right, so go ahead and get your stance just a little bit wider. Arms go up, bend your knees, straighten the legs. I'm going to put my hands onto my elbows and then just shift back and forth. I'm feeling that stretch through my hamstring up the back of my leg. My knees are soft just a little bit, so they're not locked out. There's a slight bend to them and I'm relaxing my neck as I swing back and forth. Now the swing is controlled. So make sure you're placing your body where it needs to go. We're not just flailing. Good. Stop in the center, hold that stretch. Now bend those knees. Those elbows go into your thighs, the meaty part of them. And I just want you to wiggle back and forth. Feeling those hips open up, you still are steady with that breathing. Three, two, one. Hands go on your thighs, roll your back up. So good. All right, let's hit a nice deep side lunge. Push your hips to the back. Awesome. Now shift to a full lunge. Drop the back leg. Front hand goes into the floor of the mat and twist all the way. Hold that stretch. Now bend the elbow, bring the elbow down to the floor. If you can touch the floor, great. If you can't, no worries. Open up again. Hand comes back down, straighten the leg, rock back, bend the knees, open up to center, and hands on your thighs, roll up. Let's do that whole thing on the other side. Deep stretch, lateral lunge, hold it. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh of the straight leg. Shift to that deep lunge. Open up, world's greatest stretch, twist that body. Hold it there, straighten that leg. Elbow goes all the way down to the floor, if you can. If you can't, no worries. Twist the body, open up again, keep your breathing. Straighten the front leg, tip your hips back, feel that hamstring stretch one more time. Bend the, bend the knees, back open to the center, hands on your thighs, roll up. Great, take one more deep breath here. Awesome, reach up to the, to the sky. Exhale, pull those elbows down, push the chest out. So right here, we're trying to push our chest out. Feel that stretch right here through your chest. Now come back up, hands together, round your back, bring your arms down. Awesome, do it again, all the way up. Lengthen around the back one more time. And exhale. That felt so good. So guys, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this series. Sometimes all we need is 15 minutes a day because if we're taking our 15 minutes a day, we're gonna be able to actually do it. It's easy to bite off that chunk of time. It's easy to put that intensity into those 15 minutes. And I want you to be able to get some type of movement daily. So the cool thing about this series, one workout will be abs, there'll be a cardio, there'll be a lower body, there might be a full body thrown in there. So if all you have is 15 minutes, great, grab one, do it. If you're like, Jada, I want a little more, then you can stack the workouts together, do an abs, stack it with a cardio, and you can make that workout as long as you want or as short as you need. But either way, you're going to get your movement in, and that's what's important. Just a little background about me as a trainer. I've been training for almost 20 years, and it's crazy to think that it used to be all about how strong can I get, how heavy can I go, you know? 
I want to have the six pack all the time. And now I've shifted my focus. And it's not just about looking strong. It's about being able to move for the rest of my life. <laughs> when that really wasn't a concern before. So now the way I structure my workouts, I have some where I push really hard, but then I also add in those really important stretching sequences and mobility and making sure that I'm giving balance to my body so that it won't only work today, but it will function the way I need it to for the rest of my life until the day I die. So that's just a little bit more about me as a trainer. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining me and I can't wait to see you for the rest of this series.